Shukram Neta, Salam Aleikum. Me encantaría poder hacer eso en árabe, pero no tengo el árabe. Lo más cercano es el español. Voy a decir por lo menos unas palabras en español. Eh, la ironía del tema eh, justicia social es que crecí en El Salvador en los años de la guerra y esa palabra era una mala palabra. Eh, si alguna vez se, se mencionaba el, el, la persona, el estudiante, en mi caso yo era estudiante, podíamos desaparecer sin tener ninguna pertenencia política, eh, salí del de Salvador simplemente porque no se podía estudiar ni vivir. Y, y el mundo me llevó a, a apoyar organizaciones que se ocupan de la justicia social y dedicar mi vida a apoyar líderes y a apoyar administraciones. Eh, fue un camino natural. Eh, todo para decir que es un honor estar acá y, y muchísimas gracias por la invitación y, y por poder eh, darme la oportunidad de compartir un poco humildemente eh, mis puntos de vista en, en relación a, al trabajo de las organizaciones. Y ahora, si me permiten, por temas de terminología y no hablar Spanglish, eh, voy a pasar al inglés. When we are talking about the main issues for governance, I would say that uh, the, the main things that we have in mind is how are we going to support legislation and how are we going to have the enforcement of the law. I was recently in my country in El Salvador and uh, we had uh, uh, the Christmas holidays. They were during 10 days, 410 car accidents. I bring my children all the summers and the, the people in the streets dying and the, and the structures of the government and the, and the hospitals hardly coping with this. And the reason is that although there may be some laws, if the enforcement of the law isn't there, obviously this had no impact on the lives uh, of people. So I think that the following question that we have in mind when we're talking about the, uh, the, the legislations and the enforcement of the law is how are we going to translate this into the institutions and into the organizations that are going to help us uh, to have this implementation. And we know and in psychology we study that organizations are not structures but people. And, and the 2030 agenda that was uh, mentioned today in the 17 uh, uh, Sustainable Development Goals, uh, the entire agenda and the goals are uh, having people at the center of the agenda. So I would like just to invite us to think in this implementation that we need to enhance spaces that help us understand the interdependence of things in the complexity of human development and in order to implement uh, social justice. And, and for that, I wanted just to mention three things that, uh, that we find across in all consultations and we have seen in all organizations, is that there is no transformation without addressing the knowledge and the skills of the people and the understanding of the issues by the people. There's no transformation without helping the leaders lead the groups of people, the groups of leaders, the teams. And there's no transformation if there is not a culture of engagement. And engagement is particularly difficult when we do not understand the issues. So just to give an example on one SDG, for instance, if we're looking at education, which is the goal four of the Sustainable Development Goals, how can we understand education if we do not understand decent work and economic growth, which is the goal eight? If we do not understand that we need to end poverty, which is the goal one, and how it will have an impact in ending poverty, how will it affect uh, the goal two, which is ending hunger. Children who are hungry cannot study. How does it impact gender equality to have the opportunity also for, for women? How will education reduce the inequalities? How segregation may affect these inequalities? How peace and justice 
and the development of strong institutions is of the essence in order to have the education, and how do we have the global partnerships for development. Just to name a few, we are talking about one area, which is education, but we need to understand six, eight areas, at least with a few centimeters of depth. And what, what we as a world community, because it is not you the governments, me the civil society, them the organizations, is we as citizens of the world who want to make a difference. How will we organize our institutions around people? And, and we, in, 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 in collaboration with, with other uh, academicians and, and, and consultants, we have put some models. And one of the models that we have is, is around three things, which is people, leaders, and cultures. We want to ensure that people will have the skills, will have the understanding, will have the knowledge, and, and will see the interdependence of, their, of the issues at which there are so-called experts, that we will have the leaders and the leadership to prepare and support the leadership that excels the management of teams, so that we have leaders that can work with leaders and put them together, that can have platforms that bring the thinking of others and have them work together. And last but not least, how are we going to have the cultures that create engagement? So that when this is not my subject, I'm leaving because this is not my area of expertise. And, and, and that culture uh, of engagement can start from creating spaces for it, having leaders that support it in, in so many other ways. And uh, might not be a magic formula, it's not Harry Potter formula, but it could be a start to be succinct in, in, in the complexity of the issues, uh, uh, as Tafia uh, was saying, I mean, we have 17 issues. At the same time, you cannot bring everybody to all the issues. But to understand the clusters that really will make a difference, uh, it could be a start uh, to deal with the overwhelming amount of information that is here today for us uh, to, to take care of those challenges. So thanks again, and I, I hope I can continue to take part of, uh, of this dialogue.